Good morning. It is Wednesday. Because we've just had five days off. So we're all really like tired because we've just been doing doing whatever. But at 721 I'm gonna go make some bread for my dad. Because he likes fresh bread. I put it in a bread maker. Takes like three hours, but I don't have to do anything. Shove it in, turn it on. Best in the kitchen ever. So this is the brand. I use a Sunbeam Smart Baker. And it takes three hours and 20 minutes to cook. 320 ml of water. Just mix it in the Straight in. It's all in the bread maker. And then I just do number one, which is basic, and push start. It does all the work for me. Just doing the dough thing. See? Oh, that's so great. I'm going to make toast. Because one of the kids wants toast. And I'm going to get Cooper. Thank you. Oopies out. Oh, not Teddy. Oh. Look at you. Oh. Say good morning. Mm -hmm. My boy. I want one. Very bright. Woo. What do you want for breakfast? Rainbow bombs. Oh, I don't have rainbow bombs. I only got cocoa bombs. I know, rude. You want cocoa bombs? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Just you choose because you gotta get ready. I'm just gonna wash my face and tie my hair up. I'm gonna go take these kids. I treated my hair the other day, so it's really, really soft. I did something to my hand. Ooh, my like here tendon or something, I don't know. Still a bit swollen in comparison. Oh. 
Nothing unusual there. I just hurt myself getting dumb shit. I'm just gonna put moisturizer on today. And sunscreen, so I moisturize my face first. Because hydration is the key for old lady skin. And where do I put this? Oh. This one? It's really runny. Like it's not thick like a sunscreen, yeah. My mum actually brought it for my daughter, but it reacted to her skin. So I thought, <clears throat> fresh face today because I can't be bothered. Not really in the mood to do anything. Brush your teeth. I can't. Brush your teeth, please. Oops. Dropped everyone off. Now we just have Kiki. So we're just waiting for Kinder to open and then I will take him to Kinder and then go to the shop. So I just got back from IGA. I only got a few things that, like for dinner because I have to do the full big shop and I still haven't done that yet. But first, coffee. Now I can have a coffee. The bin's pretty gross, so I'm gonna take it outside and give it a good hose. It's a beautiful day outside, so it'll dry. I thought this was a toy, but it's not. It's a real one. Lovely. It's just a millipede or a centipede. I don't know, Australian native stuff, but. If they, if like, they got little thick claws on their bum, and if they get you, like, fuck, it hurts. Gonna have to move him along. Oh, there you go. Okay. There's a close-up. In all honesty, he's probably not doing well because I just had my house sprayed. So he's probably feeling a bit unwell. There he is. There's a close-up. Back to cleaning. So the bread just finished, some zero. Here it is. So it's 10.53, so what did I put on, like 7 or something? So yeah, there you go. It's all done. I'm going to take it out and let it uh, sit on the bench and cool down, and then my daddy will come to pick it up. Fresh bread! I can't eat it, but the smell is just oh, amazing. So dad just come and got his bread. Uh, I've got a parcel. So there's no, uh, no image of the bread because he's gone. So, a product trial. So I've got a product trial. So these are um, just a code, 281, and it's a product, uh, I have to test the product and then uh, do a review. Um, so I don't know if I've got the real product or I've got the like placebo product. Uh, and this one is for incontinence pads. Yay. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. So that's exciting. I thought it was actually something else. Um, because I have another uh, product coming um, from Swiss for retinol. So I'll show you guys that one when it comes to because that's coming soon as well. But yeah, so this, this is like a blind research trial. So I do um, surveys and research 
um, you know, like group participant research and stuff just for some extra side money or just mainly, it's not even really for money. It's more um, just something for me to do and the money is a bonus. Um, you don't get a lot of them. I haven't had a product trial like this for ages. Um, I think the last one I did was like for a drink. So yeah, so that's pretty old ones. It was for Jamison um, alcohol. It's like a blind tasting. That was really fun. So yeah, you should get up to some research companies. I'm not sure which research company this is with. I'll find out and then I'll let you know. But yeah, um, if you're into research and you know, like to try products and do trials and stuff, um, you know, it's worth it. But yeah, so I'm gonna finish cleaning up because I still haven't finished because I had a bit of a break to chat with dad and have a coffee. Um, he took his bread home, he's a happy man. Um, I've just started getting into this baking bread, uh, there's me bread machine, baking cakes and stuff. Um, just gives me something to do. Um, and, and people like it. So, and I like to feed people. <laughs> so, you know, it's a win-win. It's a win-win. My middle child is a slob. I'm just cooking myself some pasta and I'm just gonna put pesto in it. Just an easy lunch today. Pesto, the best. Mm, I love it. This is like my go-to lunch. All the time. Yum. Because it's just so easy. And I just use gluten free pasta, a bit of pesto. Mm. Highly recommend. You can add chicken, like veggies, whatever. Mm. So I'm on dinner duty. I've just fried off some onion, and that is sweet potatoes, just sort of steaming a little bit. And then I've got chicken, and I'm gonna make this korma. Um, my husband's got a camp meeting uh, for Ivy School, so he won't be home till later. And the kids are just outside, so I'm just going to cook this and I might add some coconut milk uh, and then some rice. Look, I made it. Wow. Cooper's making oh, some little houses. So while that's cooking, I really need to do an online shop. <laughs> I need to do an online shop because I haven't done one for ages and like I keep going to the shop and just getting a few things and I need some stuff for dinner. Um, so I'm going to do that now while that's cooking and then after it's all done I'll have a shower and uh, chill out. Crazy cat. Hey. Oh, I stink. <laughs> dinner time. I took out the chicken. Nice Coopy. Good morning. Today's Friday. Uh, I've got no kids here with me. They're all at school and at kinder, which is great. Um, so I'm going to go to Coles very quickly because I got my shopping delivered yesterday, but um, Safeway missed a bag. So I have to go like replace everything that they missed, which is so annoying. I love online shopping. I love getting stuff delivered. But yeah, when stuff like that happens, it's so irritating. So um, I'm going to go do that and then I'm going to call past Kmart and then when I get home I'm going to show you what I got from um, a toy store for Cooper because it's his birthday the week before Christmas. So uh, I've been getting a few things like over the week so I'll show you what I've got. So yeah, let's go shopping. I always forget to bring the goddamn bags. I have to go back to the car and get them. Every time. I'm in the Mickey D's drive-thru. I'm just waiting for a coffee. I haven't had one yet and I've woken up with the worst headache and I just haven't had time to have a coffee yet, so. My head's hurting. Mama needs a coffee. So I've finished the shopping. I'm gonna show you what I got when I get home. Right now, Mama needs a coffee. Lucky I remembered I had to get crickets for Shango. Poor dude's starving. All right, so I'm back home. So I thought I'd show you what I got from Kmart. Although I did get these from Coles, which I thought were really cute. 
they're beach naturals um australian made zero waste plastic free soaps and this one is lemon myrtle and bush honey and this one's organic oil and lime oh they smell so nice oh if you could smell this through like i've got my mum brought me a lush one and it smells just as good as the lush ones and they were two for five bucks I got this for Coops. This is a Spider-Man drink cup with a little straw and you can't get it out. Oh, what a shame, because that's, you know, the joy of toddlers. They love that. I just got that for him for something to play with him. It's his friend, well, it's actually his girlfriend's birthday at Kinder. So I just got her these um, to give to her today when we pick her up, when we pick up Coops. It's just a little sun catcher kit and a Barbie doll. I got a big ass thing of candy canes. Cause, you know the kids like to do the kit like i have to do kinder and primary they give all their friends and school you know their classmates and stuff um it's my auntie's birthday her name's donna so i got her a d you can see that the, the sun glare is a bit funny and it smells nice oh it does smell nice i'm just going to take that over to nana's because i'm not going to see my auntie and then i got this for cooper's one of the ladies at kinder um she gave me some shoes that she got for her son from school, but they didn't fit and she couldn't exchange them. They were like part of some school program free thing. So she gave them to me and I'm just giving her like a candle to say thank you. But this one smells so nice. It's guava and tube rose or tube rose. I don't know, but it's like, um, it's like a pot, you know, I don't know if you can see the detail in it. It's so pretty. So I brought that. And then I got these, I got this for me an acdc top it's a size 18 i'm not a size 18 but i'm into oversized stuff um I, I really do not like clingy stuff before my hysterectomy i hated clingy stuff um because i had so much like extra weight especially here and now i don't have that but i'm just i don't like tight stuff like even this which is just restricting around the boob it's flowy but i don't really like that either so yeah but then in saying that i brought ribbed ribs tank tops for bed but these are like for bed they're like a single top but they're you know just just above your belly i don't mind that wearing it's bed i wouldn't wear them outside in public anyway i got this other one that's oversized i thought i brought two this is led zeppelin so it's a short sleeve one i'm pretty sure i brought two of these but didn't scan it it's not here mm -hmm. so yeah that was what i brought oh and i got these three event calendars for the kids and Cooper must always have a yowie when I go there so that was what I brought and that was 80 87 bucks hmm, not bad and I just want to add I'm not self-conscious at all about my body at all never had um body issues but um with my thyroid I don't have thyroid and my um Meds are a bit out of whack. They've been a bit out of whack since I had Cooper, so it's a good four years. I sweat profusely. It's one of the things about having a stuffed up thyroid is you do sweat a lot and I, I cannot stand, like I don't mind like these, you know, where they're, my arms aren't covered, but um, if I'm wearing a t-shirt that's tight, I just feel like I'm dying in it and I get the worst sweat marks and I hate it. I just, it just grosses me out. Um, and like there's nothing I can do about it. I also get it on my hands. I get very clammy hands um, So yeah, that's another reason why I like a bit of ventilation in my clothes So it's Saturday night um, I'm gonna finish the weekly vlog here, but um, Today we went to see the Melbourne Renegades versus uh, Perth Scorchers. They're the um, women's cricket team so that was really fun. So I'm going to put that up after this, but I was supposed to, like, I had to do an ad and everything for them for Instagram and I posted it on TikTok. So, um, I didn't really do sort of like the vlog experience of it, but anyway, I'll, sh I'll put up here what we did, but it was heaps of fun. Like, um, for, you know, women's sport doesn't get a lot of mention as it is, but, um, it was really fun for the kids. Like they had a lot of activities set up for the kids and it was like, you know, a decent turnout. It was actually really good. And it was good for the kids to experience um, not only cricket, but women's cricket. Um, and it was like, you know, every time they got a four, there was like dancing and music playing and we had flags. It was like, it was really good. It was a really good experience. 
Um, so I was really grateful that we got tickets for that. Um, just because it, well, it's not something that we'd normally do. We don't really go to sporting events. Like my husband's footy mad, but you know, we don't go to the football. We don't see it live. Um, we just watch it on TV and stuff and watch stuff at home. So, and after the Socceroos this year, the kids really got into the soccer. So I'm even thinking, like my husband just mentioned about taking the kids to an NBL game. And I was thinking as well, the tennis, um, the Australian Open, I really want to go to that. And Cooper's getting to that age now where, um, you know, you can do a bit more things with them. And if he gets annoyed, you just take his iPad <laughs> and he'll just sit there on his iPad. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe even the tennis this year, which is something we haven't done. And it's all getting me out of my comfort zone. Um, and for my anxiety, I, I want to do a lot of things, but, um, my anxiety holds me back a lot and I am medicated now and it does help, but it's just, it's the getting there. Um, once I'm there, I'm good. I've noticed like I'm good. I can, I can enjoy myself. Um, but yeah, just getting there is. So that was this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for being here. Um, I love oversharing my life. I hate wearing tops like this. I can see my arm flap. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that was this week's vlog. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.